Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is Truckin' Magazine, November 96. We're not going to go through a full flip through, but I want to share something with you that many may not know or be aware of. This awesome issue features Rob Maggi's Suburban. And, uh, of course, Sean Mahaney, rest in peace, worked on this truck. I sent him a copy of this uh, magazine before his un untimely passing. Uh, he was looking for a copy, and, of course, I had a couple, so I was happy to do so. What I want to do, though, is I want to just show you a couple quick things, and I want to talk to you about the alternate cover. So if we look right here, you'll see Rob Maggi. It is radically juiced, not airbags. A uh, suburban dually have become the bomb in Southern California truck scene. Model is Tiffany Eastman. Adds a little extra spice to the cover. So Mike Shartzis gets the cover credit here. Now the term bomb ties into a reel that we recently shared. Uh, for those that don't know, if we look on page 106, um, we're going to find... Uh, something that when I remember when I first read this back in the day, I was not aware of. But basically, uh, it says, as an engineering rap artist signed by MIC Records, Rob Baji of Anaheim, California, is no stranger to details needed to get noticed in today's competitive world. So this truck, uh, SUV, if you will, was featured, if you look up, and I'll put a link in the description, the Rollin' Low Bomb Squad video, music video. Now, a lot of people don't know about that. I remember seeing it many years ago. Ruben and I talked about it a couple times over the course of time because Ruben Artiaga, the booker, he was actually there with his Toyota that was a cover truck on mini trucking. You can see some of the photos here. Now, the reason why I want to show you that you know, show you the whole feature. This thing had a crazy dash too, like even, you know, pre, well, in the era of West Side ish before Crew Cut, of course. But for those that did not know, and I, I think I shared this in social media one time, there is an alternate cover. Now, if you look at the truck and logo, it also changes. So you've got this, what I kind of call the old school original logo. This was on so many of their stickers, you know, straight out of the 70s, right? From 75 at this point, they're 20 years in. And then they come with this. Now, I didn't pull out all my magazines. Maybe I'll try to put a little insert here to show you because when they're stacked, they're not easy to get to. I have them all in chronological order. <clears throat> but Basically, March 97, they toy around with the uh, logo a little bit as well, which I'll show you that. And then May of 98 is when it really changes. Now, because, I, I, you know, with a lot of these, I have one or two, sometimes three um, copies of them, but I don't always have an alternate because it just depends. Like, you know, if I have three newsstand copies and maybe this was a... You know, maybe this was the 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 subscription and this was the newsstand. If if you have any intel on maybe other covers that you know that changed before March of 97 or May 98 or alternate covers, let me know, please. But bottom line is, I want to talk to Shartzis and maybe find out if he recalls the discussion. But obviously, you have the model here. And if you look here, you can't see the rear tail light. So... One of the main differences, they kind of bumped in a little bit. You see the rear wheel. You see, you know, the, the paint lines there where she's about standing. You see the gas filler. You do not see the gas filler here, right? So, basically, she would have been obviously right there. And for whatever reason, you know, maybe it was a test, you know, to kind of test the markets, test the waters to find out, hey, you know, if we change our logo, are people going to hate it? This is the first one that I know of based upon my research and, and you know, owning all of these magazines that, that I recall it changing. But someone else could chime in, you know, maybe three months prior they did and I just wasn't aware. So I like to get to the bottom of these type of things. But it's the same feature. It's the same issue for the most part. You even get the same insert photo here. Uh, 
which you know would sometimes change, I guess, if if you were going to do a special edition or for newsstands. It's possible too that um, there are a few issues which I do not own any that are in Japanese. I think Sharks has chimed in in the past and said that they did a couple limited runs. Um, I know Shannon Bullis has a copy of one, uh, a very rare one I got to see at the Spark Show years ago. But to me, it's very, very cool to see the history and kind of, you know, look back, in this case, 25 plus years and say, hey, you know, here's some little things that, you know, pre-internet or, I mean, you could say at the infancy of the internet, like we just, we wouldn't have known back then. Uh, let me know what you think. Again, uh, Roland Low Bomb Squad. And I'll bake in one other quick thing here. Let the rhythm hit them. Think rock him. You can also see uh, bits and pieces of the Suburban Dually in this DVD video, if you will, uh, because they bake in a couple clips during the editing of the Rolling Low Bomb Squad video. Now, it may not be you know your favorite song, the Bomb Squad song. I think it's it's very area era specific. And to me, the nostalgia is is all there. It's super sick. And, you know, you get to see low riders. Uh, you see Ruben's mini truck. So I think oftentimes people kind of tend to think, you know, we, we think of the, um, the Cars That Go Boom music video, which is ironic because it has mini trucks in it. Uh, you know, we think of that. You know, there's some TV shows. There's definitely some movies. You know, there's some that I've shared in the past where mini trucks appear. But... When you think, uh, you know, or, or, you know, minis appearing in a music or TV show, that type of thing. But MIC, you know, circa 95, 96, you know, they were doing it as well. So I want to give Rob his flowers. Of course, he's now uh, with Master Image Customs, voted in the Mini Truck Hall of Fame. Uh, that was 2023 inductee. And rightfully so, not only did he do a lot for uh, the scene, but, uh, you know, you think about all the advertising dollars that went in, all of the iconic trucks, full sizes and minis that were built, the cover trucks, the Blazer, the S10, so many to count. Definitely a tip of the cap. And again, this video, just a little highlight of the two covers for November 96, Truck and Magazine. Rest in peace to Steve Stillwell. He was there for so long. Stay on the rise, y'all. Great job, Sharks. Shot by... Charts. We out here. Peace.